sword fighting down there. Gunfight down there. Like crazy. In the bleachers. Make room for them, please. Hold your finger up if you have some, uh, some seats where uh, people can sit. <laughs> They're swearing out there, man. I just heard a dude say I killed him. He's fucking dead. Civil War cannons or artillery. It certainly takes a certain amount of skill. You go through the nine step procedure below the right. Foot soldier. But imagine the skill it takes to employ a variety of different weapons on horseback, trying to fight one to one combat while managing a wild beast. Sorry, it's getting real pixelated, guys. I have to zoom like a crazy person. I'm like holding the camera in front of my face. I want that coat that that guy in the white coat there, that guy right there. I want his coat. Dismounted cavalry was not unusual at all in the Civil War. Dismounted cavalry take advantage of no, no, natural defensive works. So They're like tin. Uh, you know those rich bass ones I was talking about that fall apart? Those are these. You can reload a carbine while you crouch down behind a fence or a pile of rails, fence rails. It's loaded from the breach of the stock so you can reload while you're crouched down. Gives I you want advantage. someone to die. Someone, someone should die down there. Get his way, y'all. Right there, come here, right there. Oh, yeah. Prior to the Civil War, cavalry was a major arm of service. It was used to intimidate enemies with grand thundering charges on lines. But the advanced weaponry of the Civil War, which Let's allowed the Civil War soldiers and the cannoneers to fire much greater ranges accurately, changed the role of the cavalry by the time of the Civil War. Typically, cavalry was used for intelligence purposes, ranging out to collect information on the Dude. enemy, scouting, like a locating the enemy, freaking determining their strength, out horse, their position, their intents and movements. <laughs> cavalry is also used as a screen to protect your army, to keep the enemy's eyes away from your main body, your infantry, what their intentions were. The elephants of armies encountered each other. Quite often you see what we have here all cavalry battles. Ladies and gentlemen, two of the three largest cavalry battles of the entire Civil War were part of the Gettysburg campaign. The beginning of the campaign on June 9th, the Battle of Brandy Station, the largest cavalry battle to take place in this continent, outside Culpeper, Virginia. And on June, July 3rd, here at Gettysburg, east of Gettysburg, three miles east cavalry battlefield, was the third largest cavalry fight. Battle of Trevillian Station, in Virginia, in June of 1864. Yeah, look at it's kicking off the second largest cavalry fight. Yeah, yeah. All cavalry fights are not unusual at all. Watch out for the speakers. Alright guys, I might catch some more rib for you guys, I don't know, but I'll definitely get some of the artillery fire. See ya.